One of the intriguing aspects of a seven-game series is watching the coaching strategies unfold. How do they adjust their tactics and player deployment during the game? In Game 3 of the Dallas Edmonton series, the Dallas Stars coaching staff made some crucial adjustments that changed the game's momentum and possibly the series. After losing 5-3, the Oilers are now down 2-1. Let's break down what happened. What caught my eye was the Dallas Stars' use of the weak side stretch play. Attending the game live, you notice things that cameras often miss. After the first period, where Edmonton led 2-0, Dallas adjusted by sending their weak side forward up ice aggressively. Here, we see Darnell Nurse retreating hard as Dallas sends a player up ice. Nurse's poor gap control allowed Dallas a prime scoring chance, highlighting how their strategy impacted Edmonton's defense. It wasn't just about Dallas's tactics. Edmonton's defensive zone issues were evident. Here, Connor McDavid and Ryan Nugent Hopkins both fail to cover their men, leading to another Dallas goal. Despite the challenges the Oilers have positives to build on, Dallas is heavily relying on four defensemen making them vulnerable under pressure. Here's an example where a strong forecheck by Warren Fogle led to a goal. Looking ahead to Game 4, the Oilers need to regroup. Ryan McLeod's defensive zone work was missed, and it might be time for Philip Broberg to step in. His skating and puck handling could provide the spark needed. Kudos to the fourth line for their effective forechecking and reliability. They matched up well against Dallas's top lines. Game 4 is crucial. The Oilers need to tighten their defense, improve zone exits, and capitalize on their forecheck to turn the series around. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis.